table partitioning so instead of data storing at one place in the database of particular table what we can do we can divide the table and store half of the data somewhere some part of one application server if we have multiple server then we can store half data in one server and half data in another server so how we can do the partition there is a two way of doing the partition first we can do vertically half of the column table data we can store in one server and half of the column data we half of the columns we can store in another server or this is called vertical partitioning second is horizontal partitioning in this number of records initial 1000 records we will store in one server and next 1000 record we can store in another server this is called horizontal partitioning so one of the there is different kind of partitions we can do and as per hana there there is hash partitioning so one of the example i am giving round robin partitioning if you from it background you might know what is the round robin in this technique suppose we are having this uh, one table which is having dictionary vector and attribute vector for two columns so how we store this data in different partition they have used here round robin technique means each each entry one, one entry will be in this partition second entry in this third one consecutive entries we are putting in different different partition so we are partitioning the data in the different different uh, server we can say or even the one server also in different different places in multiple cores like that we can partition the data now what is the advantage of doing the partition so first is the load distribution if we have in our database multiple server and if it partition the same table data in different different server so what is the advantage when we write the query on that particular table so that can be divided in two part and two server that can do parallel processing and it will be faster then we are doing the if we have the huge amount of data then only we do the partitioning in one particular table is a huge amount of data and it is taking the taking the time to process this data then we do the partition so that is that the load distribution will happen the same query will run in two servers and the result we can get the faster second partition curing so what is this partition pruning instead of dividing the data based random division we can the divide the data based on the vqrc for example uh, cells oak for one cells oak we have the data in this partition we another cells oak we have the data in this partition so whenever we are reading the data so best then we are passing the cells oak so it will not search for the other partition at all it will search for the relevant partition for that particular cells oak in that way we can read the data must faster so that is the second advantage of the table partition third is deletion of data some of the time we have to delete the data of our archive the data after some time interval so if we maintain the data we if we do the table partitioning based on the year month and date so in that case we can order data based on the easily we can delete those data based on some conditions we, we can say that i don't want the data two year older then automatically those partition will be deleted or archived based on our requirement this is again another advantage of the partition and parallel parallelization so we can do the things parallelly that means not only the different server we can do the diff, uh, load distribution in same server if we have the partition we can use the since we are having multi core arch architecture i can say so half of the things can be processed by one core and half of the set th things can be processed by another core so the, we can do all lot of things in par parallel if we have the if we have the correct partitions so this is the table partitioning in any database system or especially i am talking about a hana database and it is very useful um, when we do the partition the data is per our requirement the insert only approach in s4 hana so what is insert only approach is i shown you in my compression video we are having the two vector one is the an attribute vector and second one is a dictionary vector for each table suppose we are having one table where we are having the id name and gender for for each column we have generated one attribute vector and dictionary vector for id we have n number of ids 
six seven we have given one one attribute vector and dictionary vector same way we are having different different name for each string we have generated one a dictionary vector and each dictionary vector assigned to a one attribute attribute vector one number got assigned to that and same way we are having one uh, dictionary vector gender male and female and the stored column attribute vector which will be stored in the database as i shown you in my compression video so you don't know about the attribute vector and dictionary vector you can watch out that one so like that we have stored the data in the database now the in the this is called main store where we are storing the data in the main memory but this is read efficient means always the data in the dictionary vector in the sorted form as you can see this is the in the sorted form the data will be available in the dictionary vector so since it is sorted form we can do easily binary search and we can read data quickly but suppose i have to modify the data in the main memory i i did some transactional thing and i changed this uh, uh, this one i uh, r a l f i wrongly written i want to write r a l p h but instead of ralph i have written ralph so what what I, what i can do uh, I, I if i go and change this entry so i have to change each and a, every dictionary vector and attribute vector what i have to do i have to uh, change this dictionary vector i have to move uh, move uh, this i have to modify this entry as soon as i modify this entry there is there will be i have to decompress the data then again i have to compress the data this is one thing suppose i want to add one new entry with the tanya name tanya so in that name should come after all so i have to change the since it is data is available in the sorted form i have to change all the sorting uh, of this dictionary vector i have to add the tanya and that that for that what is the attribute vector for that that will become 8 and for the ralph it will become the 9 so this will get changed so each time basically what i want to do whenever we are modifying the data if i want if i go and directly modify data in the main store then i have to do the lot of processing i want to maintain the data in the sorted form in the main memory so i can read the quickly data so that is the reason i have to do lot of processing over there so that is the reason sap came up some different approach they have something called delta store they are having main store and second is having the delta store in delta store what they will do the data will be not in the sorted form so we can easily and append the entries in the delta store and both the uh, both the store link the each other and timely time to time they will be merged uh, with each other suppose i want to enter new entry with the tanya so it will be not directly stored in the main store instead of it will be stored in the delta store here and if i want to modify modify the data in the uh, main store suppose i want to modify the ralph so it will be direct not modified directly in the main store instead instead of that particular entry will be added in the delta store with same primary key so you can see if i modified eight and eighth entry so it, it didn't modified here in main store it it modified and appended here with same eight it is a primary key the id is the primary key suppose so same primary key we are having in the database two entries with different and this entry will be marked as a deleted this entry will be it will be available so whenever we are reading the data how we will be reading first we will be checking in the main store and since it will be very quicker because it is a sorted form if the data is not available in the main store then we will go for the delta store data delta store the read process will be slow uh, but still we are they uh, sap using some tree uh, if you have hash tree in the data algorithm you have learned three type of structure they are reading so easy there also they can somewhat better they can read read also so like that they they are reading the data from delta store if the main store is not available and most important thing we are having the two entries in the database with the same primary key so this is in the ABAP it is not possible to have the multiple data with the same primary key but we are having here with the same primary key multiple data but one of that entry will be marked as a deleted so uh, when when we read the data from main store that will be not redone and then we have to come to delta store and then we have to read that data but we have to timely time 
after some time of interval when the system is free that is the system load is free we have to merge this delta store into the main store then how it is happening so prior to merge what it is happening whatever the read operation we are doing that happen on the uh, main of main store as well and the delta store as well but whatever the modification we are happening that is only happen in the delta store because the uh, main store is not optimized for the uh, modif modification since the data is, is available in the sorted form whenever we do the merge the what will happen we will create another this is main one and delta one store we will create another main two and delta two store during the merge whatever the modification we will do that will happen in the delta 2 and whatever we will do the read operation we will do we will do in the main one along with main 2 and uh, main 1 and delta 1 older older uh, older stories we will read and once the merge is completed we have created main 2 and delta 2 the main 1 and delta 1 will be discarded now we will be having the data in the main 2 which we, which was having in main 1 and delta 1 we have merged and we have created main 2 and we are having new delta 2 uh, delta 2 so that like that sap managing the timely after the some time interval based on the when the system is free they are merging those things and they are keeping so so at the time of peak we can access data quickly and we can do the things are quickly so that this is called the insert only approach why we are calling the insert only we are inserting the data we are never in the main we only if you modify we have to modify the data still we are inserting the data with the same primary key with the, and all the data we are making as a mark as a deletion that is the reason uh, we call is it is uh, our sap s4 hana database is insert we are doing the insert only approach we are not actually modifying the data we just with same primary key we are adding the data in the delta store and after some time we are merging those stores and we are creating new main store in this video we have learned about table partitioning and insert only approach even though I am not the database guy, but I try to explain age much age. In my next video, we will see code to data paradigm or code push down techniques. This is very useful for the ABAPR. But before going to that video, please like this video and subscribe this channel. Thank you and happy learning.